Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Suen from Penang Green Council. So um, we'll just go through the slides for the four main questions. Um, Penang Green Council is actually established in 2011. Yep. Uh, we are chaired by uh, the Chief Minister of Penang, YAB um, Lin Guan Eng. So we are actually consist of um, three main pillars, as you can see here, the education, incentives, and also policies. So for education part, we have community-based programs like um, the House to House education campaigns and also green camps, targeting on um, different target age groups, like the household and also um, students and children. So um, the campaigns actually spread and create awareness on zero waste concept and also 3R, um, reduce, rethink and recycle, and also uh, segregation at source. So for incentives programs, we have um, few projects like the Green Office, the, green, uh, the Penang Green Office projects, the Green Innovation and Incentive projects, Rainwater Harvesting System incentive and so on, which we are providing grants cash grants and um, incentives of up to 600,000 uh, 600, ringgit to corporate sectors, the general public, household, and also um, schools. Um, for the policy, we also support the state government's policy. For example, the generators pay. It's to monitor the waste disposal and to let waste generators pay for the final disposal of waste. And we also have this um, campaign, Makan Sampai Habis. It's to reduce food waste and also carbon footprint in hotels, eateries, restaurants, and so on. Um, next, please. So um, in our opinion, what makes Penang a world city today? As you can see, um, Penang leads in terms of the commitment, the engagement of people in Penang, the policy, and the infrastructure. So um, after the general election on um, March 8, 2008, um, Penang State Government actually, sorry. Uh, Penang State Government started off green initiatives and policies, which involved all citizens that eventually led to political competitions among the other states in promoting policies and politics towards sustainability. So, um, among the green initiatives that is being launched are the ban of polystyrene, the every uh, no free plastic bags every day. And also to reduce carbon emission on transportation, we also have um, bicycle lanes and um, the free shuttle bus, cat and best. And we have also achieved the highest recycling rate of 32% in Malaysia. Um, next, please. Um, so uh, the third question is, um, what is required to make Penang Island a world city of tomorrow? In our opinion, it's to improve the quality of existing public transportation alternatives that we are currently have, which is like public buses, ferries, bicycle lanes, and so on. And um, as you all know and are aware of, our current water, do, uh, domestic water consumption is 298 liter per capita per day, which is the highest in Malaysia, and we are targeting to reduce it to 233 liter per capita per day. So, um, in terms of technology for sustainable, um, <coughs> sorry, um, we, for state government, we are actually very firm on anti-nuclear, which uh, we need to, which it requires us to explore and adopt more renewable energy, for example, solar, po uh, solar power, um, biomass, biogas, palm oil, and so on. And, we also want all G uh, new buildings in Penang to have GBI certification. Lastly, uh, the effective and committed institutions. We would want to have stronger enforcement by the local authorities, especially on littering and clot um, drainage. And um, the successful of Eco City, Batu Kawan. Um, Batu Kawan might not be in Penang Island itself, but it's in Sabarang Prai. But uh, we would like to emphasize that um, the success of Eco City Batukawan would actually reflect the success of Penang Island itself as a whole, and we would want um, the township surrounding Penang to be um, on par for the, to reflect the city of tomorrow. Um, next, please. Okay, um, in the journey to the city of tomorrow, um, our organization will definitely continue to empower, enrich, and 
enable all stakeholders to practice sustainable development um, to, Penang, to make Penang a cleaner, greener state. Thank you. Yeah, Sue Ann, would you please introduce um, your, the head of your yeah. Green um, Council? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ding is our General Manager for, of Penang Green Council. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any questions? We just thought that visually it would be good for all of you to know who they are. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe I would like to go back to the last slide. So, from our point of view, um, we see that from Shanghai Expo to uh, 2010 and Milan Expo this year, going to be held in, in June, um, all at once, economies and world-class cities, actually, they're, they're emphasizing green. They're, we have no choice. We have to go for sustainability. So, um, a city of tomorrow must be a model, model city of sustainability. Penang must be seen green if we want to be a world city. And then everyone in this city, from top to the bottom, must be enabled, enriched, empowered to think green and go green. No matter you're in culture, no matter what you're in investment, no matter what you're doing, you have to integrate this one. Okay, thank you. <laughs>